Thank you everyone. Well, time for the next video. Firstly, thank you to the 300 of you that have subscribed to my channel since the last video. Um, that's been absolutely amazing um, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, the topic for this video is going to be um, 40 Flex, formerly known as um, Flex VM. Um, so it's, it's a licensed consumption model, um, which um, is, is flexible. Um, so the best way of describing this is um, with 40 net traditionally, you've been locked into uh, a couple of different licensing methods, let's say. There's been perpetual, where you buy the license up front, maybe for, for 12 months or, um, or three years. So let's say you buy um, a VMO4 on a perpetual license with UTP, then um, you get the software and the VMO4, and if you buy it as a, a subscription bundle with a UTP, then you're you're entitled you have that entitlement for, for 12 months the UTP entitlement once the 12 months fit lapses if you didn't do anything you would still have access to the 40 VM product but you would lose access to the bundle and the next generation firewall features um, so the, the, the first um, reasoning behind 40 flex was to try and alleviate this. Um, now the reason that they've they've rebranded it and it's got a new name now is because they've started to add other products um, into into the, the flex portfolio, let's say. Um, so at this moment in time, the products are you've got your virtual 40 gate, so that's your VMO2, your VMO4, your VMO8, your VM16. Um, and then you can simply add the subscription bundles onto that as well. If you look at that, so number of VMs, we'll, we'll do none. You've got, you've got your VM, let's do your VM04, and then you can say, uh, I like UTP or Enterprise, we'll go with Enterprise. And all domains are licensed um, as part of this bundle, so make sure that that doesn't catch you out. Um, lots of public cloud deployments, Azure, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, no virtual domains, but um, I personally do have customers that are consuming virtual domains um, as well in public cloud instances. So just just be very very careful with that. Um, I've personally not done a lot of this, but you can buy the forty gate virtual machines, and then as a complete a la carte service, you can actually sub, you can actually select the bundles that you want. So VMO uh, VMO one, and then we simply only want um, web DNS uh, and video filtering and that's it we don't want anything else then you can do that next product 40 web um, on on flex um, just a little bit of a tip um, this product is absolutely superb for the amount of points um, that this is able to, to generate so I'll go into um, how you're actually able to buy Flex soon, but um, if you're on the managed service security provider platform, you, you're held to a certain amount of point, points a year. The, the points on uh, 40 Web are very, very good. 40 Manager Virtual Machine, um, personally, for the partner that I'm working for, seeing a lot of traction in this at the minute. Um, and 40 Analyzer Virtual Machine, again, seeing quite a lot of traction with these two products. Um, simply because with the perpetual base model and the subscription base model um, you have to buy the packs in bundle um, in bundles of five so five um, gig a day uh, logs per day um, or five five managed devices well sometimes when you've got like relatively small sd1 ad vpn based deployments then a customer might not actually might want to go to seven for example well, with the, with the legacy method of doing it, then they would actually need to buy another pack of five, which would give them a total of 10. With Flex, you can just click, click twice and give them seven devices or seven, seven uh, gig a day of um, daily storage. Um, next product uh, that's on Flex, 40 Portal, 
Um, I will be a little bit honest. Um, I've never, I've never used this 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 product in 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 all, in the fourteen years I've been working with Fortinet. So we'll we'll, we'll pass on that one. Um, this is where it gets super interesting. So at Accelerate, they announced that they would be starting to add hardware license um, licensing to Forty Flex. So. The, the best way of describing this is if you have a 40 gate appliance and it does need to be a certain model, it's the models that are listed here, um, they are adding to this list almost on a weekly basis. Initially it started with the lower end Fs, now you can see that the E appliances are coming in and now you can see that some of the more higher end F appliances are coming in. So if you have an appliance that does not have a bundle applied to it, or it's had a bundle applied to it in the past and it's expired and you contact customer services and have it removed, you can then consume the license on a flexible basis. So I have an ATF here now at home that doesn't have any of the subscription bundles on it at all. Today, I want to have the ATP bundle on it. So I would do that, I'd pop the serial number in, and then actually, in a couple of days, I change my mind. I get a token, which ties my hardware asset to a software asset. So in a, in a couple of days' time, I decide I don't want ATP anymore, I want UTP. Uh, I just simply go into the FlexDM portal, which I'll show you um, a little bit later, and I change the, the product entitlement. I don't need to do anything on the on the on the forty gate appliance at all. It just magically changes. And um, certainly, if you're a, a managed service security provider, then you would go to the end customer and say that your monthly bill is now going to be X amount in comparison to what it was before. Okay. So the question that you might be asking is, how do I get on to the forty flex program? So, as far as I'm aware, there's, there's actually two ways at the moment. The first is um, a prepaid licensing schema. So, basically, you go to uh, either a Fortinet partner who then goes to a distributor and you purchase a block of points up front. I believe it's 50,000. I would need to check that. Um, and then once you you're then able to go to the portal, which I'll show you shortly, and provision some entitlements, and then that come that that starts slow that starts to deduct off your points, and then when you get towards the end um, of your points, then you can simply uh, refresh that skew and buy another fifty thousand points to top to top up. Um, I have done a little bit of business in that area with some customers, but um, as I work for a managed service security provider. Um, I've actually done most of the transactions a different way. So um, the second way of doing it is if you're a managed service security provider, then you can actually get on a post paid consumption model, which basically means that um, you're able to provision the, the different flex entitlements via a portal um, and then the distributor um, at the end of every month, so in the UK, it's either Arrow or Exclusive Networks, um, sends, sends you an invoice for the amount of points consumed. So the, the, each point has a, 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 a monetary value associated with it. So let's say for the, exam, for the purposes of this video, that the Fortinet partner is buying at like £1.25. That's how you're able to work out what the cost is going to be. Um, to to your end customer. So, what you need to do to be able to access FlexVM is you need to go to your Fortinet support account um, and you browse over to services and FortiFlex. So once you're logged in, uh, this is the portal that you get access to. Um, this is a demo environment, so 
there's not going to be anything too crazy in it, only a very small point consumption. Um, but this is essentially where um, money service security providers um, manage their customers and their assets and their entire and their flex entitlements. The way that uh, it works once you've got access to the portal that I've just showed is you're essentially in control of cutting your own licenses. You, you don't need to wait for a distributor anymore. Uh, you, you go through the configuration steps on the portal, which are, are super simple. Um, you either tie um, a for, the, you tie a license to a, to a hardware serial number if you consume it, if you're doing um, hardware licensing, or if it's software licensing, you, you get access to a, a license token. I can flash the commands um, on, on the screen as well. Um, and basically you can end, you can either bootstrap that license file if you're doing like a new provisioning in Microsoft Azure, that kind of thing, um, or, there's a, or there's a CLI command that makes the, the, the Fortinet appliance call out to um, FortiGuard and validate whether it's a, an active license or not. Um, just be mindful that if you're doing either the bootstrap or the command line option, um, it does in most cases the appliance. Um, one thing to know, and this is definitely not recommended, but I, I, I've done quite extensive testing, been on this program for, for a long time. Do not try to apply uh, a flex license on top of an existing perpetual license. It will it will cause absolute mayhem. Um, to give you an idea, it strips the, it can strip the VDOM configuration off the appliance and does all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So do not do that, is my advice. Um, as a final note, um, thank you so much if you've got to the end of this video. Um, the, the amount of support that I've got um, is absolutely overwhelming um, and I do plan on, on, on pushing out much more content in the near future. So thanks for your time as always.